Welcome to the cable access televised debate between a giant douche and a turd sandwich. Yo guys, what is up? Randall here with Crypto Love, and today we have a video for you on some voting systems on the blockchain. Now before we get started with that, I just want to say thank you to everyone for subscribing. Thank you to everyone for clicking on that like button. If you could just mash on that, if we get 50 likes today, that would be awesome. Now let's get into it. There are a couple we're going to take a look at. The first one is Clear Pulse. So this is from my man VI Mage. Dude, he requested it and we're putting it together. Now Clearpool just recently finished their ICO, so they are available on a couple exchanges right now. You can find them on HitBTC and also Ether Delta. Right now trading at 46 cents. Uh, total market cap is 3.2 million and volume is 23,000 per day, which is not too high. Now in terms of circulating supply, they have about 7 million pulls circulating with a total supply of about 10 million. So in terms of their token sale, the soft cap was 1 million, the hard cap was 10 million, reached somewhere in between there. Right now, it's only been out for a few days, so we're kind of seeing what are the, what's happening with the price action. But let's take a look at this, figure out what's going on. So clear poll is social public opinion polls on the blockchain. And I want to state from the beginning that voting on the blockchain is one of the best uses for the blockchain. So with blockchain, we want a decentralized system that has shared memory. And that is voting. Decentralized because everyone can vote. Shared memory because you can look at the votes and see who wins. Now, uh, both of these we're going to take a look at deal with politics. And I don't know about you, but I'm kind of frustrated with politics. Frustrated with politics because it's just annoying. Uh, elections get hacked and it's just frustrating. So talking about hacking elections, this past year of DEF CON, which is like a hacker conference out in Las Vegas, they had about 20 different voting machines there. Hackers were able to hack all of them, some in as few as minutes, some took hours, but basically it was to show us that our, electro our electoral system, where we use voting machines, is completely hackable. I mean, at least in the United States, there are a couple instances in the past few years where people think it has been hacked. <coughs> Trump. So it's very awesome to have voting on the blockchain because that's going to help clear up this thing and basically get rid of a lot of the fraud in voting. Back to ClearPoll. If we take a look at ClearPoll, they are the first blockchain voting poll system. And they were only first for a very short amount of time because then there's the next one we'll be taking a look at. But so basically what you do is you can decide on topics that you want to vote on and you say yes or no. And once a certain topic gets a lot of votes, then it'll become an active poll and then you can vote on those polls. Simple, easy system. They have a nice user interface. So the main interface is going to be on phones. They will also have a desktop one, but the desktop one does not, uh, does not put stuff on the blockchain. Really, that's only done with the phone. But... I mean, if you take a look at it, you can have polls on anything and then you can get real answers because a lot of those polls that they have, like the Gallup polls and different things like that, are not as accurate as actually asking someone and the person being able to give an unbiased answer, potentially also an anonymous answer where they can really state their true feelings. They have some news going on, so they seem like a very active community. Uh, this video will answer a lot, show you things. In terms of the team, uh, now both of these teams I'm going to mention here don't really have people that have been that involved in blockchain technology previously or have been involved in um, cryptos previously, but they're people who are involved in voting, in systems, in uh, user experience, user design, all these different things. They're also, uh, this guy Simon Cocking, who's an advisor, I watched his TED talk yesterday, he's talking about how the future is going to change things. Yeah, it's definitely going to change things and this is one way they're doing it. Basically an Australia-based team, uh, but they do have, I wouldn't really say they have any heavy hitters per se in the crypto world, but they do have people who I think would be able to accomplish the task at hand. Now they're in the media, but you know, chances are they probably paid for most of those things like anyone does. Now, one of the main differences that I found between both of these systems that I'll go into today is the way that the tokens are used in the system. Because with any crypto, we want a... Uh, a usable system, so something like that, but also a usable token. And it's important that the crypto is a, both a good business plan and a usable token. And here's how the tokens are used in the ClearPoll system. So basically, there's three different ways for token usage. The first is just 
using it as a node reward pool. So basically going back to the blockchain for those nodes. The second system is going to be like a premium service for big businesses, the clear poll, they basically have to pay for it, they buy it in tokens. And the third system is advertising. So basically they'll have advertising on the poll results. So those are three ways that the, uh, that the token is used. Additionally, we have here the token allocation. So most of it goes to the ICO, a little bit goes to the development team, a little bit goes as node rewards, and after these node rewards are used up, basically the other payments from advertising uh, are going to be used as node rewards. This is interesting here. So 10% of tokens, the total tokens are going to be destroyed, uh, basically occurring after every successful vote, 100 tokens will be destroyed. So depending upon whether there's 1 million to 10 million total tokens, that's going to be decreased over time by 10% to help give more value to the system. Taking a look at the roadmap, so they've had the ICO taking place. Coming up, they're going to be generating the tokens. They're going to be finishing the user design, uh, the user experience design, and then they're going to have more software out there and start voting, start using it. Now, let's take a look at the next one, Horizon State. So Horizon State, uh, their token sale is going on right now. The countdown, 17 more hours. So probably by the time I post this, probably by the time you see this, it'll be 10 more hours. So if you wanted to get into that, you might want to do it sometime fast. But let's take a look at this and figure out what's going on with Horizon State. So the homepage here just talks a little bit about it the future of voting and collaborative decision making. So like I said, both of these are working on voting on the blockchain, which I tend to think is a very good blockchain idea. Okay, not like Denticoin. This is something that the blockchain will actually improve because the blockchain helps to eliminate fraud. So basically with the Horizon State platform, how the token is used is it's basically used as a payment for voting on there. Basically, if you want to vote, you need one of these tokens to do it. And if we take a look at the team, they have some very talented people on the team. Again, uh, not too much crypto experience. This guy is a crypto asset researcher, whatever that means. I think I'm a crypto asset researcher too, right? They have been very active. So the team there, they're going to a lot of events. Uh, the, the main guy, Jamie Skella, has been to a lot of events recently. So they're getting out there. They're involved in the community. That's really good. Uh, some other things is that they, um, they're they going to become associated with Aragon. So those of you who don't know Aragon, that is the decentralized uh, autonomous organization's ways to um, govern them. Horizon also has already had some interaction with MeVote in Australia. So that's one of the main voting things. They've been using the Horizon State system in Australia. So that is very interesting because they already have some integration there. All right, so looking at both of these things, I'm like, why on earth are both of these voting tokens coming out of Australia? And I figured it out and I put together this answer for you because in Australia, you literally need to vote. That's a crazy thing. So I live in the United States. We can vote if we want to. I know I'll get a lot of comments for this, but I actually don't vote because our system is so flawed, because it's hacked, because it's basically voting for a douche and a turd sandwich. But yeah, so in the United States, it's a waste of time, maybe, all right? Some of you will comment down below how I'm a completely terrible person because I don't vote, but whatever, that's your opinion. In Australia, you can actually go to jail for not voting. That is mind blowing. That's why they actually want a very good voting system, which the blockchain would provide. Now, which one of these is better? I'll leave that up to you. They're both a little bit different, um, but I think both of them are a great blockchain idea. I've said that 20 times so far. Voting on the blockchain, great blockchain idea. It seems like Horizon State already has some associations with MeVote, but it also appears to me, this is my opinion, that the uh, ClearPoll system has a much nicer user design, so it looks a lot nicer. Now, I should just say, because everyone loves to comment that I'm not an expert, yes, I'm not an expert. I'm just a guy who makes YouTube videos. Uh, I research cryptos. Both of these have good white papers. They're non-technical white papers, so they're good to take a look at. Definitely do that. Now, a couple other I just wanted to mention that are somewhat similar, not exactly voting, but basically prediction type things, where uh, 
somewhat similar premises. One is auger, the second is gnosis. All right, and basically both of these saw a huge run up during the Bitcoin during the altcoin bubble. Now they're down in price quite a bit, but they could be considered slight competition. But I think really the main competition right now is between Clearpole and Horizon State. So I hope that answers some questions for you. I think these are going to be great cryptos, especially if they get adopted. I mean, either of these, if they get adopted as the main system across the world for voting, whew, that's going to be definitely worthwhile. So um, let me know what you guys think down below. Is there anything that I missed? Any questions you wanted answered that maybe I didn't answer? Uh, and then if you like this video, make sure to click on the subscribe button, mash on that like button. Uh, again, there is no late night live stream this Tuesday because it's Halloween, October 31st. The following one, the following Tuesday, there will be another late night live stream. So I'll catch you guys there. Have a good one. Peace.